let's take a look at a few specific access control techniques. The first is discretionary access control, DAC. Discretionary access control gives the owner the opportunity to specify access restrictions. It's identity-based access control, which means that you must be authenticated as a specific user, and based on your user privileges, you can specify who else can access that particular object. Access is granted based on that user's identity. So you'll find in many operating systems, the owner of an object can specify which subjects can access and not access objects. And this may be based on other user IDs, or it can be based on groups. For one example, if we look at the Unix file system, the Unix file system has three different sets of permissions. We assign that in a discretionary access control mechanism such that the owner has certain properties, read, write, execute. The user group to which the owner belongs has read, write, execute permissions. And then everyone else that is neither the owner nor a member of a specific group has read, write, and execute permissions. And you can turn each of these permissions on or off. Just one example of discretionary access control. It is the most common access control in commercial systems. It's the one you're going to run into more often than any other type of access control in the commercial environment. Other types of access control are a little bit more prevalent in government-based systems. So let's look at those.